In this video, we are going to go over how to solve multi-step inequalities. Let's look at our first example. This says that we have x plus 2 is greater than 3 fourths x minus 5. We can rewrite this as x plus 2 is greater than 3 over 4 x minus 5. Now what we want to do is combine the like terms. So we have an x on the left side and an x on the right side and we have a numerical value on the left side and a numerical value on the right side. So let's start with the numerical values. We can either move the 2 to the right or the negative 5 to the left. So let's go ahead and move the 2 to the right. Doing that, we're going to take away 2 from both sides. So we're going to be left with x plus 0 is greater than 3 fourths x. Negative 5 minus 2 is going to leave us with a negative 7, so minus 7. Now what we want to do is get this 3 fourths x over to the other side. So, we can just subtract it. So let's subtract 3 fourths x from the right side and the left side. One x minus 3 fourths x is going to leave us with 1 fourth x or a quarter x. Adding a zero will do nothing to the value, which is greater than zero minus seven. So moving up to the right hand corner of our page, we're going to have 1 fourth x is greater than 0 minus 7 is just negative 7. Now our last step is to get rid of this fraction that's with the x. 1 fourth x can be written as x divided by 4. That's because we took the x over 1 and multiplied it to the 1 over 4. So the numerators get multiplied together in the denominators, which gives us x over 4. Now, all we have to do is multiply by 4. Our 4s will cancel each other out, and we will be left with x is greater than negative 7 times 4, which is negative 28. And that's our answer for the first example. We have 4x plus 10 is less than 2 minus 5 minus 6x. We can simplify this problem by combining the like terms on the right side together. There are no like terms on the left side, so we're going to leave that the same. So this is going to become 4x plus 10 is less than 2 minus 5 is going to result in a negative 3 minus 6 x. Our next step is going to be to combine the numerical values in this inequality and then combine the other like terms which are the x values in this inequality. Let's start by moving the 10 over to the other side. So we're going to subtract 10 on the left side of the inequality and subtract 10 on the right side of the inequality. That's going to result in 4 x plus 0 is less than negative 3 minus 10 is negative 13 minus 6 x. Let's rewrite this. 4 x plus 0 is just 4 x, which is less than negative 13 minus 6 x. Now we're going to add 6 x to both sides to combine the x's. four x plus six x is going to give us ten x. So ten x is less than negative thirteen plus zero because negative six x plus six x is the additive inverse so that will result in zero. And this is going to leave us with ten x is less than negative thirteen. 
I'm going to rewrite that in the top right corner of the page. 10x is less than negative 13. Our final step is to move the 10 to the other side. And since it's multiplied to the x, we're going to divide. So dividing both sides by 10, we're going to get that x is less than negative 13 tenths. And negative 13 tenths cannot be simplified. But if we were to write it as a decimal, doing that out on our calculator, we would get that x is less than negative 1.3. So either answer is acceptable. And if you need help when solving these multi-step inequalities, just pretend that there's a line that divides the left and right sides of the equation. And that will help you remember that whatever you do to the left, you also have to do to the right. Finally, our last problem says 4 times x minus 2 is less than negative 7 plus 8x minus 26. The first thing we're going to do is to distribute this 4. This 4 is multiplied to the term x minus 2. So the 4 will be multiplied to the, a, to the x and multiplied to the 2. That will give us 4 times x minus, because it was subtracting on the middle, 4 times 2 is less than negative 7 plus 8x minus 26. Let's do the math out on the left-hand side. That's going to give us that 4x minus 8 is less than negative 7 plus 8x minus 26. We have two terms on the right side of the equation that we can combine. They're both numerical values, and they do not have a variable with them. 4x minus 8 is less than negative 7 minus 26 is going to result in negative 33 plus what's left over, which is 8x. Now we just have to combine all the like terms in the inequality together. So combining the numerical values first, we're going to add an 8 to both sides. Four x plus zero is less than negative thirty three plus eight will be negative twenty five plus eight x. This simplifies down into four x is less than negative twenty five plus eight x. We're going to move the eight x to the other side of the equation. So subtracting an eight x. is going to result in negative 4x less than negative 25 plus 0. Negative 4x is less than negative 25. Our last and final step is to divide by the negative 4 to move it over so that x is by itself. And remember, when we're dividing by a negative, we have to flip the inequality. So this then becomes x is greater than, negatives will cancel each other out, so it will be 25 over 4, which cannot be simplified any further. However, if we were to write it as a decimal, x is greater than 6.25. and either answer is correct.